So if you guys did not check it out yet, according to MMA and different articles out there, Conor McGregor suffered pretty much a mild concussion in the Floyd Mayweather fight. Crazy, right? According to the referee Robert Byrd, he says his calculation to stop the fight was based on signs of traumatic brain injury, not based off signs of fatigue. Dizziness or loss of balance is one of the hallmarks of concussion, a type of mild traumatic brain injury. Fatigue may cause sluggish and slow movements, but does not cause the imbalance and poor coordination exhibited by Conor McGregor in the 10th round. To let a fighter continue on would be grossly negligent. So, yeah, as I said after the fight, the fight was a good stoppage, just like Dana White said, just like Andre Ward said, just like Teddy Atlas said, just like a lot of other people said. The only people saying the referee should not have stopped the fight is Conor McGregor himself because of his pride, the Floyd Mayweather Jr. haters because they do not want to give Floyd credit, and McGregor fans because they do not want to accept this L. Either way you look at it, it was a great stoppage. McGregor could have got seriously hurt, so just let it go, take the L like a man or a woman, and keep pushing. Conor McGregor was getting his ass beat, the man was not throwing back. If you do not throw punches back, the referee is going to stop the fight. That's the rules of the game. Protect yourself at all times. If you don't, it's a wrap. It's your fault. So, I guess I won't have to do it either. And I guess like Conor says, it's time to move on to the next one. The referee and the doctor saved Conor McGregor's career and his life. Because Floyd Mayweather would have dropped them regardless. Alright, whether it's 30 seconds, 15 seconds, or a minute. So, yeah, I wonder if the fans think that Floyd Mayweather is a pillow puncher or any of that shit now. I bet they don't. We all know the truth. But close call for Conor McGregor. Shit, he wanted to fight some more. If Floyd Mayweather would have knocked him out and put him on his ass, he probably would not be able to fight again. Imagine that. Conor McGregor just made what, 30 million bucks? On top of pay-per-view, he's going to make over 100? If Conor McGregor ended up in the hospital and could not fight again, what use would that 100 mil do for him if Conor McGregor was inside the hospital, paralyzed forever? None. Then, if that had happened, a lot of fans would have abandoned him and Conor McGregor would have been inside of his house all alone with his wife taking care of him for the rest of his life, helping the dude walk every single day, feeding him through a tube and shit like that. I don't think anybody would want to see that. So, I don't want to hear anything else. It's a wrap. Skip Bayless, sit your ass down somewhere, because your ass don't even know boxing. 10th round TKO. The same thing with Manny Pacquiao and Miguel Cotto. When Manny Pacquiao knocked out Miguel Cotto, he did not knock down Miguel Cotto to win the fight. He knocked him down throughout the fight, but when the fight was stopped, the referee waved the fight off. Same exact thing. So, it is what it is. Conor McGregor, enjoy your money and stop complaining because once again, the referee saved your life. All right? But, uh, yeah, tell me what you guys think. I guess that Conor McGregor is thinking about facing Nate Diaz in a trilogy, which is a classic. So, I'll let you guys know once uh, something pops up. Give me your thoughts, post your comments down below. And uh, if you have not already, sub to my channel. It's Northwest Boxing 247, coming at you live. And I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.